What's up? Welcome to Wine School. I'm Mike, with me as always, Eric. Special guest tonight, we got Brandon, Daniel. What's up, guys? Hi, guys. Hey. Thank you. Thank and you. Tonight, we're going to try out... I drops. Your wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to put them in your eyes. Sure. Okay. <laughs> and that would be amazing we'll, to watch. We'll watch that. <laughs> That's Maybe for a good blooper reel. <laughs> yeah, like YouTube gold if you start spraying this in your eyes. Uh, sponsor? Sponsor today is Canelo Liqueurs, the latest and greatest in flavored liquor. And they just cinnamon. Got, and they just got rated, I think, the number one cinnamon spirit in the country. But did they really? By something. Yeah. Wow. Our buddy by, Charles. By us, right? By us. Yeah. <laughs> we're we, somebody. We've Why always not? said they were number one, but now number the rest of the world's catching up. Now they're catching up. Once again, Rock and Wine School setting the bar. That's right. All right, so tonight we're going to try out Pure Wine, and this is the next in our series of, of testing crazy wine products to see if they actually work. Here's the theory with pure wine. So you'll notice on a bottle of wine, a lot of times it'll say contains sulfites mm -hmm. and people will freak out. Like, I don't know what sulfites yeah. are. Yeah. Sulfites are basically sulfur. <laughs> and some people have gnarly mm -hmm. reactions to sulfur. Mm -hmm. Some have like really gnarly, like anaphylactic shock level reactions. And, but a lot of people just have, you know, sort of mild to moderate. Like you might have someone, you might have a friend who, who drinks wine and they get red yeah. when they drink, or they feel itchy when they drink, or they get a headache. We all have mm -hmm. that friend who's like, right. oh, dude, I hate wine. It gives me a headache. Yeah, Odds it's are yeah. it's from the sulfur. Or just some drink like four bottles of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try to stop that for two. Or, or, yeah. or pay more than $2 for a bottle that of wine. That works for you. Yeah. 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 great, man. Yeah. <laughs> But the, so the question is why, why is there sulfites? If this is a problem, why bother with it? Here's the answer. One of the main enemies of wine is oxygen. Oxygen changes the nature mm -hmm. of wine. And that's why if you have like a leaky cork, like later you get the bottle of wine, it's vinegar. It's been oxidized. Right. The oxygen has gotten to it over a period of time and it's wrecked it. So winemakers are really, really careful about controlling the level of oxygen that touches the wine all the way through the process until it gets into the bottle. From when the grapes are picked, to when you're trucking them to the winery, to when you're pressing them, putting them in the barrels, fermenting them, they're really, really on top of controlling the amount of oxygen. And some winemakers deliberately allow more oxygen and some deliberately allow less. Anyway, the main way of controlling oxygen <laughs> is sulfur. Wow. So, you just spray some sulfur on top of the grapes and sulfur dioxide kills the oxygen. Right. You're good. So that's why we end up with, with, uh, yeah. with sulfites. Anyway, um, Pure Wine has invented this amazing thing called hydrogen peroxide, um, which counteracts sulfur. And it's, a, it's actually a special grade of, of hydrogen peroxide, which this company is actually based out of Australia. I tried to order these yep. online and uh, they couldn't ship them to the US. Oh, wow. There was some FDA rule that they could not ship these to the US. Really? So I actually had a friend of mine who lives in Australia. I told him to go to the store, buy some pure wine, for example, <laughs> really? to try it, and mail it oh, to me, God. which he did, which yeah, was cool of him. So that's just different from a hydrogen peroxide you would buy in your local pharmacy for $2 for a big bottle. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a smaller bottle, probably more expensive. I'm sh well, plus shipping from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> that was right, right. That was a little more expensive. Yeah. Um, so it, if you look on their website, they talk about using special food grade, and I think there's some, a couple other things maybe they use as well okay. in here. Um, but the yeah. idea is to make a colorless, odorless, something that's going to counteract the, the sulfites. Um, now, I actually went on the website today just to check. Now it's actually available for shipping to the U.S., oh, so now you can get it. Um, but when I got it a few months ago, it, it, it didn't. So anyways, we're going to test it out. Now the problem is, is we have no idea right. whether or not it will actually work. So tomorrow, <laughs> if you guys wake up and you don't have a headache, <laughs> it works. It worked. It worked awesome. Right, right. right so let's, uh, let's give it a go. And we're, we're going to drink some Gatinara tonight with this. And Gatinara, if you haven't seen our, our video on Gatinara. That's an amazing video. It's an amazing video. We actually. In peak shape. <laughs> uh, really at top of our game. <laughs> For sure. The, the Travelagini Vineyard, that was the vineyard we were playing Frisbee in, in Gatinara. Yeah, or losing Frisbee. Uh, yeah, or losing a Frisbee. Yeah. Because they were closed on New Year's Day when we happened to be in Gatinara. So we played Frisbee in the vineyard instead. But 
we did get some of their wine to uh, to try out tonight. So we're gonna we're gonna do this now. Are we trying before and after? Uh, I, I, it's colorless and odorless, so how are you gonna tell? I'm... All right, so we'll do the after. Say it's never good to have a leaky cork. That's always bad news. That is always bad news. All right, so Gatinara, this is a Nebbiolo. Um, this is a 2008, so it's got some age on it. it. Definitely, probably has been treated with a fair bit of sulfites mm -hmm. through the process. So the way that the Purine works, you can either treat the bottle, five drops in a bottle, okay. or one drop in a glass. Boop. Wow. Boop. Boop. Are you sure that's what's actually in the bottle there? As far yeah, as you guys right. know, have you yeah. as far as you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use this later, Eve. Right. Later? <laughs> You'll notice I didn't put any in my yeah. glass. Yeah. Exactly. Iocane powder. All right, so, uh, I happen to be immune to Iocane powder. <laughs> I knew someone would pick up on the, the Princess Bride reference. Well, I spent years building up immunity. <laughs> Inconceivable. So the wine is awesome. Yeah, the wine's great. The wine's amazing. Yeah. This is everything I love about Nebbiolo, right? Yeah. It's just high acids, high tannins, just character. Um, and it doesn't smell like Coke. It doesn't smell like, it doesn't <laughs> smell like Coke. I get some prunes, though. Yeah, definitely. I get some prunes yeah, and some, kind of prunes. some... This has got a little bit of your barnyard on it, E. Yeah. For sure. Definitely some dirt yeah. and barnyard in there. Yeah. This is an amazing wine. Actually, this has got to be, in terms of value for, for wine, this particular wine is, I, I could drink this all day long. This, I think, I think this is about 30 bucks at my local wine store. Um, and you're talking about a uh, seven or eight year old Nebbiolo. Mm. If you're getting a Barolo that was seven or eight oh, years yeah. old that from a be, DOCG, be it would be, yeah. you know, for something decent, it would be yeah. 75, 100 bucks. Uh, and this is, you know, same grade, but it's grown. 40 miles over to the right. So it definitely has a different character than Barolo, but it's great. Can you taste the sulfites, B? You know, I uh, <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to, but my palate's just not not. They actually say that, that if you're a good taster, you can taste sulfites once they get over, I think it's 50, 50 parts per million or something really? like that. Wow. But most wines have it like five. So it's got to be pretty aggressive. Anyway. So, we, we have no way to know whether or not this will actually do right. what it's supposed to do. But is this a wine that's supposed to be makes this a very exciting episode. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Is this a wine that's supposed to be high in sulfites anyways? It's all about the winemaker's discretion, right? Yeah. And they don't, they're not required to put how much sulfur they use. So there may be none of this, for all we know. There may be none of this. It worked perfectly in that case. It worked awesome. It eliminated yeah. zero. Yeah. <laughs> so, who knows? It eliminated 100%. But I, I think that the, the thing is, if you are one of those people exactly. that has some problems yeah. Yeah. drinking red wine really or, or even white wine, there's you, a solution. You, you get flushed, you get a little prickly, you mm -hmm. get a little, he, little bit of a headache. Mm -hmm. You might give this a shot. You, you could be allergic to sulfites. By the way, uh, Rock and Roll Wine School, we're not doctors. We are not doing any sort of medical advice. And all the other things our lawyers have told us we have to say. But you might want to give this a shot and just see if it doesn't give you a headache. And now they ship to Australia, so you don't even have to have a buddy there. Yeah. So check it out. Pure Please wine. See. Drink it with the Travel Guinea Gatinara. Yeah. Big fans of that. And as always, it's E. Good time. 30 seconds of Christmas. Coming at you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Late night out, I heard your